base up it so monkey's going to show you how to replace these headlights on a Ford 3 f50 um triton v10 so first open the hood nope it won't open there we go that's how simple it was sort of all right just so replacing these lights you are gonna need a phillips screwdriver hopefully if you have a stubby that will work but in this case i don't so i have this contraption which is a quarter inch socket with a 3 8 inch adapter and with the 3 8 inch i mean yeah 3 8 inch universal joint so we're gonna start by unscrewing here it's gonna be a real hassle but we'll manage You had to take both screws from top and bottom to remove this entire thing. So I'm going to fast forward and you're going to have to excuse me for the generator noise. Our neighbors are working, so they're working and I'm working. So no big deal. We got the first one out first screw so depending on your vehicle you might have a well you might want to check your owner's manual but on this vehicle it's just a, oh what's it called x that's it so we're gonna put these screws up to the side and then we're gonna do the bottom as well And we got our last screw in here. So now we got this and carefully pry it apart. And there you go. You have the, the headlights, the back lights, the brake lights, and you got the reverse light. All right, the same procedure for this one. screw on the top and one on the bottom you get your ratchet your little stubby or in this case my little contraption here and you carefully remove it we got the one screw out and now we're just gonna need to do the bottom and then we'll pull this one out That screw doesn't need to be out, but at least we got the cover off. Okay, and right here, carefully twist and pull this out. Fortunately, for the bottom, this thing I gotta be careful. Gotta be careful, make sure don't drop it. And now we remove this old light bulb. Again, twist this thing will come out so and here's the old light bulb so you just twist and then pull and then the old light one comes up and of course we're gonna set this thing aside as well so put that aside out with the old and in with the new these are LEDs, so I'm gonna place these incandescent bulbs with LEDs. With these LEDs, so we're gonna put one on each end. So we're gonna start with the left side and then we're gonna go to the right and then we're gonna test it out and switch if polarity needs, if this thing needs to be with polarity. So let's start with the first one. So with this headlight, tail light, open, and then up, and then it's just a twist and lock. And simple as that. Go, go, 
before we screw it in, we're going to go test it. We're going to put the key in the ejection on the run position and see if these um, taillights turn on. If not, then we flip the bulb and then after that, then we screw them, then we screw them back on. Now, let's do the right side. All right, same procedure with the right side. So get your LED, get your incandescent or LED bulb open, then gently plug it in. And then you just twist them up. So right before we screw everything in, we're gonna go turn it on. We're gonna go test it. So let's see if these two turn on. So be right back. All right, so we're gonna put the candy ignition. All right, so we already know that these brake lights work. Now we could just put them back together. So we already know that these brake lights turn on. And after we already tested for these lights for polarity, but for this truck, the polarity does not matter. We just twist, pull, and then put it inside, and then twist, and then gently put it back together. Give it a nice slam. And then this this light is ready to go same for this thing but unfortunately for this brake light i mean the brake light for this it won't screw in out of the factory or well, i don't know what happened to it pull and then twist and then shove the wires okay. then you're all set now what we gotta do is put on the screws. So let's do that now. All right, we're just gonna put these things back. All right, we got that one out. So, thank you for watching, and that's how you. What I meant to say is thank you for watching, and that's how you replace uh, what's it called a tail, a brake light um, on the Ford 3F50. But unfortunately, my phone camera didn't have enough storage, so it just cut me off um, as I'm making this video. So, thank you.